this is sort of a, a broad outline that we're going to go through step by step in, in this upcoming course um, that we're going to help you with about when the appropriate use of splint therapy, phase one therapy for patients that have internal derangement, how do we win, know when we're stable, when should we refer, how do we work with the physical therapist, when would we consider using medications and what would we use that would be appropriate, would you ever think about giving injections, um, and then the whole systemic uh, area. We're going to teach you about a decision tree for managing masticatory system problems where you take the complete exam and differential diagnosis to differentiate extra capsular problems, meaning problems that don't include the joint uh, into occlusal muscle problems and parafunctional problems. How do you manage those? Intracapsular problems, lateral pole, medial pole, parafunction, uh, uh, disease, pathosis in the joint. How do you diagnose that clearly? How do you work with imaging? Um, how do you order imaging? How do you interpret imaging? How do you make those decisions? How do you manage these things? How do you work with referral sources? And then the whole airway and systemic connection and how we work with that. So you can see that we've got a lot to learn. We've got a lot to talk about. We're very excited. We feel like all these areas are valuable lines of professional services that most dentists do not offer, uh, but could and can and, and should and will. We just hope it'll be you and not the guy down the street uh, who doesn't have the training that you have to manage the whole system properly. I've heard a number of people uh, talk about this subject of total health, and yet I know that many of them know nothing about occlusion. They know nothing about a thorough examination, never have, and uh, it scares them. And so we want the people who are committed to excellence, you, uh, to get involved in this field and lead the way and be the leaders and interact with the physicians to show them what it looks like to be a true dental professional and to work in a appropriate way uh, with our medical colleagues and to do some amazing things.